Well, good evening and welcome to We Care Ministry Support Team Thursday Night Prayer. We pray that you had a wonderful week and that you are continuing to be blessed in the Lord. We pray that everything that you have desired of the Lord, that he is giving it to you because we are believing by faith with you and we're trusting God with you. We thank you again for all of those who support us on a regular basis, um, how you just continue to show up and, and, and you're praying for us and we bless the Lord for you. We, we pray continually for you. So continue to pray for us and we'll continue to pray for you. We are um, going to lift up a, a lot of things on tonight. So get your prayer request in. You still have time and we want to not want, we don't want to leave you out. We want to get your name on the list so that you can hear us call your name out or the love, your loved one's name out so that you'll know that we are praying for you and with you. Even though you may not get it in on time, we are still praying during the week when you're not visible, when we're not visibly on the uh, Facebook Live, but we are lifting up those names before the Lord. And we want you to know that we uh, are agreeing with you in prayer. So if you can uh, just make sure that you like, share and follow us on Facebook and, and remember to share a prayer that is ministry. Make sure that you send that prayer to someone who needs to be encouraged, someone who needs to be uplifted, someone who's going through a difficult time or someone who's on the mountaintop. They still need prayer. So it doesn't matter what stage of life you're in. It doesn't matter how old you are or if you're going through something or you're not going through something. Send a prayer because God is always looking for praise and we're always willing to praise God with you. And remember to send us your praise reports because we would love to celebrate with you it's just so that you'll know that our prayers are the, uh, being answered and we want to praise God with you as you rejoice. The word of God says rejoice with them who rejoice. So we want to rejoice with you as well as in the times of, di of difficulty. We want to be there for you, whatever your season is. So we're trying to give you a moment so that you can get your... Um, prayer posture ready start sharing get things together sit down get to in a quiet place whatever it is that you need to do pull over on the side of the road we don't know what the holy ghost gonna do on for to you on tonight so we want you to be safe yeah. <laughs> hallelujah yeah. we want you to be safe so that you can be with us here on next week to pray and lift up the name of Jesus one more time. I wanted to read a second Corinthians verse chapter one, verses three and four. And it says, blessed be God, even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforted us in all our tribulations that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. So as we're praying for you, and we know that we are also being comforted by God ourselves. So we're lifting you up and he's lifting us up to continue the work. So I'm going to read off the prayer list because Sister Vanessa is going to take us into the throne room of grace on tonight. And she is going to be praying and we're going to be agreeing with her in prayer. So we're going to continue to pray for Sister Lynette Scott, Mark Abrams, Patricia Abrams, Pam Williams and her family, her grandchildren and her children, um, Sister Doris Allen. We're continuing to pray for the Bowie family as they continue to grieve for the loss of Sister Bowie. We're praying for Barbara Tyler and her family, the Dunn family and the Brandon Harrison, the Egglestons and the Britton family. We're praying for Mary Jones and her family as they move and get settled into their new location. We're praying for Rachel Hankerson and mo the mother of Lisa Walker. And we're praying for the mother of a friend of ours whose name is Gio. So we're, Gio, we're lifting up your friend's mother. We didn't have her name, but we're, God knows her name. And we're praying for Bishop and Mother Jeffrey, Mother Lula Barnes, the Cook family, Bobby Flint, Patricia Nims, Mother Ida Keaton, 
Karen and jo Holmes, Joanna, Christian, Bobby Cole, first responders, teachers, leaders of all levels, foster care children, um, Brenda McBee, uh, the Golston family, the women of soul, all of the graduates and the children who are out in for summer vacation, we're praying for safety for them. We're praying for caregivers. We're praying for church leaders, all of those who are grieving um, for the loss of someone or something. We're praying for Deontay Britton and all of God's children. We're praying for Bishop Iglehart, my bishop. We're praying for him that God will uh, heal his body. And we're praying for all of those who have been suffering from, you know, I was looking at the news and it said we've had since the beginning of the year, 269 mass shootings. And I thought, wow, that's a lot of people who are affected. And so we're praying for the survivors. We're praying for the family members of those who have been lost. We're praying for any kind of loss because that's a lot of hurt. And we're praying um, for those that are still dying of COVID. COVID, we, we know that it's ravaging countries, um, the third world countries that are being uh, affected by this disease and this, this new strand, we're praying that God will stay the hand of the enemy. And uh, we again, uh, get ready because Sister Vanessa is about to lead us into prayer. Sister Vanessa, I'm giving it to you. Yes, thank you. And thank you all for, for joining us in prayer, we, that's something we need. We need to unite in prayer, unite in faith on one accord and believing the, what the word of God says. So we're gonna pray. I'm not gonna pray long, we'll be before you very long, but in faith, we're going to unify and we're gonna be strong together. And we're going to get the answers that God would have us to receive during this time, whether you're standing in the gap for someone or you are the person in need of prayer. We are here to pray for you. So if you like Sister Kim say, share prayer, that is a good thing. So when you share this page or when you share this video, you're sharing prayer and it just may help someone get to the next day or help them get through life. And that's yes. what we're here for, to help you through prayer and through support in ministry. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to come to you and thank you for everything that you have done thus far, everything you're doing and everything you're going to do. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for being such a great and honorable God, for being such a mighty God, a merciful God, a God full of grace and hope, a God full of love, a God full of compassion, a God full of kindness, and a God full of peace and joy and every good thing we can name. We thank you. And even when things are upside down and even when things are not going our way and even when we have loss, you are still good and you are still God. Even when we don't understand, you're still a good God. Even when we can't comprehend some things, you're still a merciful father. And we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your blessings and your hand that covers and protects us. And Lord, we know that without prayer and without faith and without believing and trusting in you, there will be much more devastation. There'll be much more deaths than there is. Your hand holds back a lot of things that we don't even know of. And you said that you would show us great and mighty things that we don't know of. And so we have faith and hope in those great and mighty things to come. We're not going to dwell on sickness. We're not going to dwell on death. We're not going to dwell on disease. We are going to dwell on your word. So even in sickness, even in death, even during disease, even in times of sorrow, even in times of despair, we can call upon the name of Jesus that we will still have have hope. We can call upon the name of the Lord and we can see our way through. We can call upon the name of the Lord and the Holy Spirit will be our comforter and our guide. And we thank you. We thank you for giving us something to hold on to, someone to call out to, to give us a word in due season. And we thank you, Father. We praise you. We lift you up. We magnify your holy name. 
and merciful Jesus, we just thank you for just giving your life that we may be able to come to the throne of grace, that we'll be able to know the Father and we can call on him and he will hear us and he will answer us. And we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done. We thank you for being the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And we come to you. We're seeking refreshment in our souls. We're seeking revival in our spirits. We're seeking restoration in our lives. We thank you for every time we were broken, you healed us. Every time we were, we needed help, you helped us in some shape, form, fashion, or way. We thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us, even when we did not even know that you cared so much or that you loved us the way you do. You've been there. You You've been there when we've turned our backs on you. You've been there when we didn't even know to call your name. You've been there in the darkest hour and you've also been there in the light of the day. And we just praise you for always being there. And we ask that you bless and touch everyone on the prayer list from the top to the bottom, from the head down to their feet, from everything that's going on in their lives. We ask that you heal it, heal them. Heal, let your manifesting power just overflow in their bodies right now. Those who are ill, those who are going through, yeah. those who are recovering, those who are suffering, those who are grieving. Father, we ask that you heal them right now. Cover them with your love. Cover them with your blood. In the name of Jesus, in the power of the Holy Ghost, do a great and mighty work, Lord. We stand in the gap for those that may not be able to pray for themselves or those that may not have faith or those that may be struggling with what to believe. We're praying for them. Touch their hearts. Draw them closer to you. Show them what they may not be able to see. Help them to hear what they may not have been able to hear. And give them understanding. Open the eyes of their hearts, oh Father, so they'll see you. And they will understand why you love them. They will understand how you delivered them and, and that they have a purpose and they have a plan and they have a, a reason to be alive. And we thank you, Father, for the purpose and the plan. We ask that you cover all those who are in the hospitals and the nursing homes. We ask that you cover those in foster care systems. We ask that you cover those who are in the prisons, cover those who even visit the people that are in these places and keep them safe, Lord. We ask that you bless and strengthen the care caregivers of all sorts, those who are essential workers and those who no one knows, they're, they're behind the scenes taking care of loved ones or family members or friends or, or even some people take care of strangers, Father. There are neighbors that take care of neighbors and there are people that just are a blessing to other people just because they have you in their heart and they want to show kindness to others. And Lord, we ask that you strengthen them to continue to do that. Bless the works of their hands and strengthen them in their mind and in their spirits, in their hearts, and in their bodies, and in their souls. Father, we bind the hand of the enemy from coming against anyone on the prayer list and anyone they're connected to, from coming against our prayers, from coming against We Care Ministry support team. We bind the hand of the enemy. We loose the power in the hand of the Holy Ghost to cover us and, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We thank you, Father, for delivering us from all evil. And we thank you for preparing a place for us. We thank you for even making all the crooked ways straight, even here and now, and making all the rough areas smooth, and making all the dark areas become enlightened with your love and your joy and your word and your peace. And we give you praise for it. We ask that you bless those who do not even understand, Father, that you been blessing them the whole time. Save those who need saving. Sanctify them. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Bring the backsliders home. Lord, we thank you right now you. for all of those people that you have put in our path, that you have put in anyone's path that we were to pray for and we prayed for them, that we were to be a blessing to and we blessed them. Lord, we thank you that we continue to be obedient. Teach us how to even do more. Help us and strengthen us to be a blessing even when it looks like no one cares. And we thank you for caring for us so much. All of us, everyone that will hear this prayer, you care for them. Everyone that doesn't even know about we care, you care for them. And we thank you. You thank see what you. we don't see and you know what we yes. don't know. But we thank you for enlightening us to be able to do what you called and created us to do. We thank you, Father. We thank, thank you for you. those that will be traveling, that you give them traveling mercies and safe arrivals, Father. We 
thank you for those that'll, that'll be still uh, in the school system preparing for the next season. Lord, bless the administrators and the teachers and the facilitators and, and those who are in any profession that helps anyone, Lord. We ask that you give them a heart to serve with the right mind and the right spirit, and they are able to do greater works than they ever thought or conceived that they would. And we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for honoring our prayers. We thank you for hearing us and thank you for giving us the faith to pray and giving us the faith to believe and giving us the faith to stand against all yes, obstacles. God. Even when we are tired sometimes, even when we don't feel like it, you give us the strength to continue on. And we pray that you give everyone that hears this prayer the strength to continue on. Yes, and Lord, we thank you for your covering. We thank you for your thank blessings. You. And thank you for your grace and mercy in Jesus name. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. I pray that you were blessed because I was blessed. I felt the spirit of peace just rest upon me as Vanessa prayed. So when I pray that you felt the same thing, that the God of all comfort, hallelujah, yes. will comfort you with the unspeakable amount of peace and i wanted to read this scripture and it's coming from romans 15 13 may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the yeah. power of the Holy Spirit yeah. in the name of Jesus. And we're believing God for that. And we thank you again for joining us. And don't forget to share a prayer. And we will be with you again on next Thursday, praying for you, your loved ones, and your friends, your family members. May God bless you. We'll see you next Thursday. God bless you. We do care. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night.